This lesson introduces the basic tests of simple FOC. First, we stack the corresponding ports of the simple FOC shield motherboard and the Arduino Uno motherboard. Then we connect the Arduino Uno board to the PC with a USB cable. Next, we connect the three phase wires of the motor to the interface of the simple FOC shield main board. Since the encoder of the motor has two interfaces, we will introduce the connection methods respectively below. We connect the analog interface to the simple Fox Shield motherboard through the AS5600 A cable. This is the connection diagram of the motor connected to the motherboard through the analog interface. We connect the I2C interface to the simple Fox Shield main board via a DuPont cable. This is the connection diagram of the motor connected to the motherboard through the I2C interface. First, we open the analog interface test program. Magnetic sensor analog example in the simple FOC library example. Next, we configure the development board and port. First select the development board Arduino Uno, and then select the port. After the configuration is complete, we click upload to burn the motherboard. Now the program has been burned. Next we open the serial monitor. The serial monitor continuously returns the position and speed of the motor. Toggle the motor. You can observe the motor position and speed change. Now the analog interface test has been completed. First, we open the I2C interface test program magnetic sensor I2C example in the simple FOC library example. We click upload to burn the motherboard. Now the program has been burned. Next we open the serial monitor. The serial monitor continuously returns the position and speed of the motor. Toggle the motor. You can observe the motor position and speed change. Now the I2C interface test has been completed. First, we open the closed loop position test program velocity control in the simple FOC library example. Shield the 13th line of code. Unblock the 15th line of code. Modify the 20th line of code. Modify the 41st line of code. Modify the 57th line of code. Modify the 60th line of code. After the program is modified, we click upload to burn the motherboard. Now the program has been burned. Toggle the motor. And after releasing the motor, the motor returns to the initial position, indicating that the motor has entered the closed loop mode. Next we open the serial monitor. After it show motor ready, we can send command to control the motor. Send T6.8. The motor will run to the position 6.8. Send T0. The motor will run to the position 0. Now the closed loop position test has been completed. 
First, we open the closed loop speed test program angle control in the simple FOC library example. Shield the 16th line of code. Unblock the 18th line of code. Modify the 22nd line of code. Modify the 43rd line of code. Modify the 56th line of code. Modify the 59th line of code. After the program is modified, we click upload to burn the motherboard. Now the program has been burned. Next we open the serial monitor. After it show motor ready, we can send command to control the motor. Send T2, the motor rotation. Send T6, the motor rotation. Send T0, the motor stops rotating. Now the closed loop speed test has been completed. Software can be downloaded from the MakerBus MKS GitHub. First, we open the current sensing test code. Next, we click upload to burn the motherboard. Now the program has been burned. Next we open the serial monitor. The serial monitor continuously returns the current of phase A, phase B and current amplitude of the motor. Toggle the motor. You can observe the changes of phase A current, phase B current, and current amplitude. After stopping toggling the motor, the motor returns to the initial position. Now the current sensing test is complete. This is all of the lesson. Thank you for watching.